Hello, my lords and ladies. I'm Pitch Doc, and welcome back to Mountain Blade. So this is episode number two, and so we, we finished the tutorial part of it, and now we're pretty much free to go on our own. Um, and so what we want to do is we really want to try to become a vassal of Swadia. So this is King Harless. He is the leader of Swadia. So we're going to go talk to him, see what he has to say. Do I know you? And I can say, am I, I am Luxia. My name is Luxia, at your service, sir. I am King Hollis, ruler of the Kingdom of Swadia, and Lord of Craven. You may be of common birth, but know that I am always looking for good men to fight for me, if they can prove themselves to be worthy of my trust. Okay, so we can ask different things. Um, probably not a good idea to deliver my demands, since I already have um, seven warriors with me, and not very good ones. Um, and we can ask different things, like I can say, you know, uh, do, if I'm looking for somebody. Um, and what's good about this, everybody seems to know sort of where everybody is um, at some point in time. And because you have quests where you have to deliver a message to somebody. They could be off in, in the field of battle somewhere. And you, you really got to look for them and find them in order to get the quest done. So it, it's useful to, to talk to people about stuff like this. Um you can ask what's going on uh, with the realm. How does the war, war? How's the war going? If they're in war with anybody, um, and what would it take to cement a lasting alliance with your house? So, probably not a good idea to ask that either because um, he he doesn't really know us right now. Um, so we'll say never mind. And I'm gonna ask if he has any tasks for me. I need you to send a letter to Count Barant Barans, who should be currently at Rindy Castle. If you'd be heading towards there, would you deliver it to him? The letter needs to be in his hands in 30 days. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we got 30 DNRs for that. And um, so I appreciate it. Actually, here's the letter and a small sum to cover your travel expenses. Give my regards to Count Barans if when you see him. So we'll look and see. Rendy Castle is... Um, where is Rendy Castle? I think it's, yeah, it's way over here. So what we'll do is right, we'll head over there, but on our way, we'll look to see if we can recruit and um, see if there's any any bandits and, and things like that uh, along the way. We do have, do we have stuff in our inventory? We do have stuff in our inventory too. So what we'll do is maybe stop at Sunu and sell that stuff. We'll also check the tavern too and see if there's somebody we can recruit. So you can recruit like um, followers, and each one has their own unique unique abilities and skill level. So you can get someone that's good at training, uh, someone that's good at um, maybe leadership and, and things like that, tracking, pathfinding, and all these different things. Um, so let's go to the marketplace. Uh, it doesn't matter where you go to sell; all the prices are the same, no matter what you do or where you sell it. We already checked all this stuff out, so we're just going to sell it all. Because everything in this game costs money. So even though we you know, we have a small band of, of men, they do cost money to maintain them every month. So, um, you know, we got to make sure we have, we have DNRs. So we have 529 DNRs right now. Um, we will have to make sure that we have, always have food to feed everybody. Uh, we also have to uh, keep our equipment up to date if we want to get better. And also, um, there are some things that when you become a lord, there are expenses for you, basically a fife. So if, if we ended up, be give, you know, we're given a town to, to maintain, that costs money to maintain it. So there's, there's a lot of different things. So let's, see, let's visit the tavern. Let's see. Alien. Oops. Let's put that away. Okay. Hey, Alien. You're there, good man. Be so kind to fetch me another drink, eh? You must be having me, me confused with the tavern keep, sir. My most humble apologies. It is sometimes hard to recognize folks amid the smoke and gloom here. I still cannot believe that I must make my home in such a place. It was my father's... I was my father's first son and his heir, but my mother died and my father remarried. His new wife thought that her son should inherit. What? Oh, thought her son should inherit. 
She could not move against me openly, but the other day I fed a pot of suet that had been left out for me to one of my hounds, and it killed over. I accused my stepmother, but my father, befuddled by her witchcraft, refused to believe me and ordered me to leave his sight. I hope to offer my swords to some worthy captain, as it is the only honorable profession for a man of my birth, apart from owning land. But in the meantime, I am condemned to make my bed among thieves, vagabonds, merchants, and other riffraff on the road. So I could be insulted by that and say some of my best friends are riffraff, or I could ask him if he wants to join. So I'm going to ask him to join. Um, and he says, I would like that very much, sir. And then basically, um, I'm a gentleman and prefer to fight with the sword and lance. I recognize that you have lower birth than I. There is no shame for me to serve under your experience, Captain. Assuming, of course, that your followers do not become too familiar with me, I assume that there will not be a problem. Um, so I could just say, uh, you assume wrong, sir. In my company, we respect courage and skill rather than noble birth or, well, it shouldn't be. I'll have a talk with them. Very good. And before I can join, can you lend me 300 dinars so that I can buy some proper clothing and benefits a gentleman of noble birth such as myself? The coat on me has been worn down badly due to my recent bad fortune. I cannot let common soldiers mistake me as one of their own. So he's, he's kind of a kind of a dick, but uh, he's a good fighter, so we're going to pay it. And um, good. Give me a few moments to prepare, to prepare and I'll be ready to move. So when we go back, he'll be he'll be there. He'll be in our company. And we can check them out. One of the things I, I really wish that they did in this is that you could um, actually see what, what they're good at before hiring them. Uh, so I can now look at his skills. And see that inventory management, writing, leadership. So because he has leadership, you know, we'll be able to recruit, recruit more people. Um, so he's pretty, he's pretty good at He's not that great. He's not as great as I think he is. Uh, but he, he is a good fighter, and he will level up pretty good. All right. And we do have some recruits. That, and we can level up, too. So let's um, upgrade them to militia. And let's look at our, our stats here. So we can put one attribute in. So we're going to put that into... Hmm. I'm going to put it to strength for now. And what we so right now we're really using kind of a crossbow, sword, shield mix. Um, so power draw, I think, is for bow damage. Power throw would be for, for javelins, power strike for melee. So we'll actually put it in the power strike and then we'll increase our one handed. We have one more left, so put that in crossbow. All right, good. All right, good. So let's continue on to um, Rindy Castle here. And so it's time to just say, let's stop here and get see if we can get some more recruits. All right, six, nice. But I hit take off like hostile hatch and I'm like, what? All right, we'll, we'll visit one more here. Oh, you know what? Let's go, let's go attack them. The more we fight, the better trained our, our people will be. And we really want, we really want a good, good company. Hey, what is it? Your luck has run up, wench. Prepare to die. Brave words. Let's see you back them up. Deeds, cur. All right, let's charge the enemy. So which one's the alien? So that alien, he's that guy right there running. So we we can get him off us at some point. Right. 
he does come south here, just missed him. Oh. It's hard to get his sword in position the way you want to. So we gotta watch our, our health too, so in the bottom left there, our bottom right I should say, is our health and we have health for ourselves and our horse. But we don't want our horse to die. I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we lost five. That's that's pretty bad. <laughs> but that's alright, we'll recruit more. Upgrade them. So this is where you can decide. I can't remember if we did this last last episode. So if I, if a footman will eventually become a knight, or a skirmisher will eventually become an archer. Um Swadians make great knights, so I'm going to keep them in that path. Let's see, 21 and 4 is what we get now. But we can might be able to give some of this to um, Alien, Alien, whatever the name is. All right, and let's see. Party. So he's pretty wounded too, and you do gain health too as you as you ride. You can also camp if it's if it's that bad, or stay in a, one of the uh, the taverns. All right, so give him that. Nothing good for his head. His sword's pretty good. Doesn't have a shield. Boots. We don't have any boots. I could give him an axe as well. If you wanted to. I don't think he needs a bow. Can he use a bow? He can't. All right, let's give him a bow. And um, yeah, give him these arrows. All right, cool. So you can see here the party skills. So basically because I'm better than he is in these, it's going to show that I'm the trader and I'm, I'm basically the engineer of the company. As he gains skills, I can make him, you know, Pathfinder. And he'll show Pathfinder there. All right, so let's go here and let's um let try to recruit some more men. Okay, we're going to attack these guys too. Not quite sure where they are. There they are. Not very good at this crossbow. Watch those two-handed weapons because they will certainly do some damage. Oh, my timing's off today. All right, but we we did win the skirmish, so that's good. Still got four killed though. All right, but we have more to level up.
2039. That looks better. Like that. We can't fit any more in our inventory, so just leave it. So it's it's kind of a slow going game. I mean, it, it does get better as you go, especially when you start getting into like kind of like the politics of it, and get into the um, the the castle sieges and stuff, which is really awesome. This that's I mean, it's the best part of the game, really. Um, so I, I might play some of this uh, offline and, and build up my army. It all depends. You might you might feel that you want to see everything, and that's fine. If you do, just just leave it a, a note in the comment. Let me know that you know you don't want me to cut anything out, and certainly won't do that. So we're gonna talk to this guy and see if we can get uh, any more uh, quests. Or so we're trying to get basically our renown up. We want people to know who we are. I am Count Rafarch, the vessel, I don't know how to say these names, the vessel of Kingdom of Swedia, and Lord of Berglund and Tostar. Peace to you, and always remember to temper your valor with mercy, and courage with honor. So he's a nice guy. There, there's some people that are real dicks, uh, but he, he's one of the nice ones. Um, something to ask from. Okay, yeah, I have something you can help me with. The issue with a lawless villain known as Barabbas of Veluca. He murdered one of my men and has been on the run of run of his judgment ever since. Can't let him get away with the avoidance justice, so I've put a bounty of 300 dinars on his head. Friends of the murderer men reckon that this assassin may have taken refuge with his kinmans in Balani. Yeah, you might be able to hunt him down and give him what he deserves and claim the bounty for yourself. Then I will hunt him down and execute the law. Excellent, Luxley. I'll be grateful to you, so you so you I would be grateful to you so will the family of the man he murdered. And of course, the bounty on his head will be yours if you get him. Well, good hunting to you. So if we succeed in this, um, we gain, you know, we gain more experience with him and, and better influence. So it's definitely something we want to make sure we do. Let's see. And you know, I, I don't like to take too many of these at once. They do have time limits, but um, we'll talk to this guy too. I am Count Rachaberth of the vassal of the Kingdom of Sredia and the Lord of Emrin and Vadia. Well, I've not heard of you, but you look you have the look of a man who might make something of himself one day. And then I can uh, see if he has anything for us. Probably know that I'm the lord of the village of Emrin. However, there's been months since Emrin has delivered the taxes and rents due to me. As its rightful lord, apparently the populace there has grown unruly lately, and I need someone to go there and remind them that there are obligations, and to persuade them that they won't listen. If you go there and raise the taxes they owe me, I will grant you one-fifth of everything you collect. Nice. Okay, got a deal. So basically... Um... We need to collect the ta his taxes for him right here. So, where are we? Rindy Castle's right there, so we can do this part now. Okay. So, collect due, collect taxes due to Count Rutcherberth. As the party member with the highest trade scale, one, you expected the collecting of taxes here to take two days. So we'll start collecting, and then time will just increase fast. And as you see, we're collecting dinars. Um, the people of Emrin are outraged by your demand to decree has nothing more than extortion. They're getting very restless and may react badly if you keep pressing them. I'm going to ignore them and continue. I don't know what he, he didn't do this. He had 50, 54 uh, people in his his party. Wait, it says town, but who cares? We get one fifth of it, so. So what one of the negative things that's gonna come up of this if if they don't um, rise up and, and start attacking us is that they 
they won't like us very much. We won't be able to recruit there for a while. So we've collected 35, 50 dinars in taxes from Amarin. Count Rochla birth, whatever. <laughs> we'll be expecting you to take the money to him. Okay. So now we'll leave. And um, what we can do is we'll head here. Let's see. I want to see if either one of those was like was the count that we need to see. Um, we can go to the marketplace and sell this stuff. What we have. Now the thing is, we don't have to keep, get the tax. Well, we we should. If we don't give it back to him, we keep the money. But he's not going to be very happy about it. Oh, okay. Uh, we oversold some stuff here. He only has 277 DNRs. Let's take some stuff back. There we go. And then we can go here and sell the rest. Okay. That's good. And we'll leave. See if we can recruit some more men here and then we'll go to Rendy Castle. All right, so who do we have to see? Um, Count Burans, okay. Plus, he, he's a he's a cool guy too. I think I think he's the nice one. There's one that's a real dick. I can't remember which one it is, but if I guess if you want to be kind of a um, a, a bad person, like worse than just being mon uh, hung money hungry and power hungry, uh, the the guy's probably a good good person. Uh, also, there's nobody here. Okay, so he must be in the field somewhere. Well, we can go here, uh, approach the gates, enter the castle. We'll go to Lodge Hall, see if his, um, his wife's here or something like that. Doesn't look like it. All right, so the Lord we need to visit uh, to deliver the... Um, Letter two is not here, so we'll continue our uh, recruiting and then we'll head over to Dome. Oh, there's some fighting going on here. Let's see. We've got villagers against deserters. There's 10 deserters. We've got 15 really untrained people. Probably not going to be a good fight, so we're going to stay out of it. So deserters are people that were in the army, so they're pretty, they're good to fight because they're, they're pretty well armed, but they'll annihilate us. Oh, so there's a tournament going on here too. Um, let's go to the castle. So we want Count Berans and Rutcherberth. Rutcherberth. I'm picturing his name big time. Uh, you won't know where he is. I say, you don't look familiar. My name is Loxley at your service. <laughs> Loxley, I do not believe I've heard of you before. Okay, so we're looking for Is it Burans? Dor Dorchius Castle? Is that right? 
Burns. Yeah, Dorchia's Castle and um, Rocha Barth. And he's close to Wollands. Well, Wollands. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Yay, he's so excited. All right. We'll do a tournament some other time. Uh, they, they have fun to do. It's a good way to make money, too. So he's probably at this castle. Let's see if we can get this letter delivered first. Let's see. Approach the gates and hail the guard. There we go. Count for ass. Your request for a meeting is relayed inside, and finally the Count appears in the court yet to speak with you. Do I know you? My name is Loxley. At your service, sir. I am Count Borans, the vassal of Kingdom of Swedia and the lord of Rindy Castle in Tishbden. Perhaps you are not of gentle birth, but even a commoner, be he of suffice valor, may make himself something of himself one day. So they, they all say basically the same things. Uh, I bring a message from King Harless. So, we, we completed a quest, and now our relationship with King Harless has gone up by one, and with the Count has gone up by one. Oh, let me see that. Well, well, well. It's good of you to bring me this, Luxley. Take my seal of proof, and I've received it, and give my regards to King Harless when you see him again. Okay, so I can ask him if he has anything for me, but for now we're just going to leave it alone. So we've completed one of our quests, and so we still have these other two to finish. And we don't have to go back to see the king to let him know that we did finish it. It's finished as it is, and it's good enough. So um, so I think I'm going to stop this episode here so they don't get too long. When we come back, we'll we'll continue the other two quests. Um, so please let me know what you think about this, about this game. I know it's kind of not the usual thing that I do, and it may be a tad boring, but there's a lot to this game. Um, there's a lot of strategy involved, and um, the, the battles are just can really get really, really awesome um, once you get into higher levels. Um, so please let me know what you think. Um, and don't forget, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.